1926, they built a massive racetrack on this site. It was known as the Atlantic City Speedway. In America, it was the Roaring Twenties. Economic prosperity, Babe Ruth, sound movies, Prohibition, and the Charleston. The 20s also saw the construction of a massive wooden racetrack built in the pine lands of South New Jersey. The Atlantic City Speedway, as it was named, was built in 1926 at a cost of $1 million. The track was one and a half miles long with turns banked at 45 degree angles. Most significantly, it was built entirely of wood, specifically four and a half million feet of lumber, enough to fill 253 railroad cars. The premier racing site hosted eight sanctioned races, hundreds of thousands of fans watching cars speed by in what was deemed the fastest board track in the country. Yet due to economic concerns, the Great Oval was dismantled in 1933. The lumber was sold and the remaining wood burned by the Hamilton Fire Department. Within time, the forest reclaimed the area and the memories have mostly disappeared. Yet from the sky, a faint trace of the track can still be observed. And in hope of discovering this forgotten raceway, our friend and I with our children in the spring of 2018 went in search of anything that might remain. So when the munition plant closed down, in 1926, they built a massive racetrack on this site. It was known as the Atlantic City Speedway, or the locals would refer to it as the Amatol Racetrack. This racetrack was made entirely out of wood. That's amazing. So what's the mission right now? We want to find wood from the racetrack and trophies. <laughs> I want a trophy. What do you think? Wood from the truck right here? We're talking the grandstands are up there at the top of those trees sloping down this way. And they just got rid of it. They said Stephen Bankman's. Yeah. Speeds at that time reaching 160 miles an hour. Solid wood. It's hard to imagine. Jamie's climbing tons of shoes and I found a shoe too. You can see where they discarded all their unused tires. You got a picture though, I think all of these trees were gone at that point. Yeah, it was all leveled. This was all cleared out, it was all leveled. We're standing on the track. This was the straightaway, and you can see ahead, it starts curving to the right. Marin's sparkling. Look how smooth that is. I can't look Would they want smooth tread on a wood track? Can I grip it better? I don't know. Look at that. That is, look. The way that's angled. It's a worm. Pretty incredible when you consider what happened at this location. Seems like a waste, just eight races on it. And they tore that was it, eight races, huh? A lot of garbage for eight races. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it to humans. Those who desire to pursue this racetrack convinced investors, one of them being Charles Schwab, to put their money into a racetrack that would be available, accessible to approximately one-fifth of the U.S. population that lived at that time only 150 miles in any direction. The track was built, it was very successful, it lasted for about two years, and then they tore it down due to safety concerns and the coming of the Great Depression in 1929. That's a brick that says adamant from like pots and pans and then a, a shoe. Colin, you came across the uh, racetrack dumpster, didn't you? Got the original pieces from the track. There's an original piece from a car right there. So we are making our way back to the car right now. Thanks so much for traveling along with us. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button, leave your comments below, and remember there is always room for you on our next National Park Adventure. God bless you.